So good evening boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the channel if you see me for the first time. My name is Chris, I'm a landscape photographer from the UK and tonight I've come down to the woods on a very grey and overcast day so I'm not too sure about lighting conditions but that may not be too much of a problem. Because you see, what I've decided to do tonight is I've brought my Canon 7D along, I've brought my Sigma 105mm macro lens and a couple of LED lights so we're gonna have a play with macro photography using LED lights to illuminate the subject. It's always a good bit of fun that so uh, I'm going to hang around, I'm going to wait for Dayflower to arrive and then we head off into the woods behind me and we're going to start taking some macro photos this evening. I'm looking forward to this one, it's been a while since I've done something like this so let's get stuck in and go start taking some photos uh, from Nutwood near Raywell. regretting this one so much right now so no prizes for guessing from the, the the video there i found a snail on a tree and i have an led light and we're going to take a photograph of it now i'm using a macro lens it's quite dark in here uh not really ideal situation even putting this led light right above the snail like that it's it's still not going to be a perfect sort of photo so i'm just going to turn off my 10 second countdown timer because it's too much. There we go. Two seconds will do. So I'm at f13, a twentieth of a second, and the ISO is coming at about 400. If I put the light really, really close to the snail, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna focus on the snail because he has since moved his little face, which is absolutely disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. So boom. There's a photograph of a snail. I apologise for this because it is... Well, it's texturous, I suppose. It's disgusting. Here's a photo of a snail. I'm going to move off into the woods now Dave has arrived and hopefully take some, some pretty photos, yeah. Some pretty photos. <laughs> Okay, so for this second photograph, I've swapped out the 105mm lens and I've put the 16 to 35mm lens on purely because 105 was just a little bit too tight to get this close. So, I've got this old fallen tree, it's got some nice moss around the trunks, it's surrounded by bluebells as well. I didn't actually know there were bluebells in these woods, so it was a nice little surprise. And if we're going to do some macro photographs in a little bit, it does give lots of options for subjects. And there's also a little bit of white um, wild garlic around as well, so it does smell really quite strongly in here at the minute. So I'm going to talk to you about this photograph. So I'm at a sixth of a second, I saw 100 and F 6.3. And I'm really sort of making the trunk and the and the roots of this tree the subject of the photograph. So I'm going to show that to you. I'm going to head off a little bit further down the path and go catch up with Dave and see what he's doing this evening. So here's a photo, we're going to head that way. dark in here now i think the iso on the video here is about 2000 and i'm about 800 on the 7d taking a photograph of this bluebell so i've put the the 105 sigma the macro lens back on we're at f10 um iso 800 and if i just put that in there yeah a 30th of a second so what i'm doing is i'm using this led light just to shine some light on the bluebell just basically 
keeps the shutter speed up, the ISO down as far as is reasonably possible. And also this creates a little bit of light and shadow on the flower as well. So this is what I'm doing. So if I can look on the back of the camera here, that looks okay to me. Just wait for the wind to die off a little bit. So yeah, F10, a 30th of a second. ISO 800 using a two second timer. And that seems to have got it. Yeah. It's a bit weird using a, a camera with a fixed screen when it's this low. Can't miss out the flippy screens that's uh, on the RP. So I'm going to show you that photograph and move off a little bit further off into the woods. Might head a little bit towards the edge of the wood where there might be a little bit more light and it may keep may keep some uh, some ISOs down a little bit and keep the video a bit cleaner looking. So here's the image. I'm going to head off a little bit further down the path. Hopefully find one more image from tonight's video. So last time out, uh, I went to the course and I showed that my tripod legs was falling off. Basically, it's a screwing tripod leg with a, with a metal collar that sort of screws onto the leg and it holds it in by pressure. Um, I bought some Gorilla Glue and so far, so good. It really does seem to be holding things together quite well. So fingers crossed I've uh, solved that problem because, well, I went out at the weekend. I used the tripod and the second leg fell off. So I've now got two legs on my tripod that have been Gorilla Glued together. Hopefully it's going to at least last me till the end of the year. Oh God, just bear with me because I've got this camera on a full size tripod and holding it one handed and walking and talking is, is getting a bit much. Oh right, this area of woodland that we're in now, it seems to have opened up a little bit more. It also seems to be a bit more light but I'm also not sure if there's a bit of rain dropping down as well, so that might that might cause some fun and games. Shortly, just let me change hands again. Oh. So yeah, the woods have opened up a little bit. Let's Dave, somewhere off in the distance down there, uh, taking a photograph. So let's have a catch up with Dave and see what he's doing. It's an interesting camera pose he's got there, isn't it? Very interesting. Let's see what he's doing. What are you taking a photo of? Anything. Oh, he's doing a montage, but he's uh, he's cheating. I've been lying here for too long. I don't know what else to do. I wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. All right, so the final photograph from tonight's video. I'm just going for a close-up texture shot on this log. There's some greens and some mosses and some lichens and some old bits of nuts and leaves and everything falling on it. I thought, I like the way the texture sort of wraps around on the wood and everything. It looks quite fun. So we're at F10, ISO 200 and an eighth of a second. And as you can see, I'm using the LED light just to shine some light on the subject to start with, but it's also casting a little bit of light and shadow and all that fun stuff on it. It just stopped it looking quite so flat. So let's go ahead and use a two second timer and let's take the photograph. So there's that photograph taken. So I hope tonight's video has shown you what you can really do with the little LED lights when it comes to macro photography, because it can be a bit of a pain shooting at such narrow apertures. And especially when you're so close to your subject as well, light really does become a bit of an issue. So I often carry these little LED lights in the bag with me. So there we are, I'm gonna show that image. And I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll see more nonsense from me in the future. So until the next time, it is peace and goodbye.